All right, we're live. Yeah. Yeah. No sounds was on purpose. I just had to make sure everything was going before I turned on the sounds again. But hey, <laughs> welcome. A prime evening to all of you. I'm Thunderbird Prime, and today I'm being joined with Frozen Traveler. Yep. And today we're doing a very bizarre tier list. Like, this just came to me spur of the moment. We are going to be ranking common riders based on how good of a roommate they'd be. I mean, we've already did a Smasher Pass ranking over on New York Snark Exchange. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that one. Yes. <laughs> but now it's a, a more like realistic version. It's like, hmm, would I actually want to live with these weirdos? I could already bet you, th at least three of them are going to be bottom. Oh, there's definitely more than three. Definitely more than three? Yeah, I I'm going to be like, the three main factors I'm considering are, one, how well I get along with them, two, mm -hmm. can they pay rent, and three... Oh yeah, because they all have jobs, right? Not, like, the amount of them that have jobs can be like, probably... Two, Less than half. Enough for both hands. I can count them on both hands, maybe. Yeah. And the third factor is uh, how useful they'd be in like household chores, cooking, etc. Hmm. Rip decayed. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> we'll get to decayed, even though I haven't even watched decayed. I've only seen him in crossover movies. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to help with yes. that part. <laughs> kinda. I just kinda, I just kind of dropped in. And he's just like, "Hey, we're doing tier list." <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sierra says Aruto would be unbearable to live with because of his puns and behavior. But I'd mooch off him like a fucking leech. <laughs> Welcome, Sierra. If, oh yeah. If if you want to yeah. join in yeah. on this tier list shenanigans, yeah, please do. Go please right do. ahead. General VC is open. Oh yes. Um, so, b before I got home, I realized there was no food. So I decided to stop by somewhere before I got home. I stopped by Taco Bell and got like the cheesy burrito big box. Don't worry, I'm Bless not dying. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not dying. <laughs> I'm just sipping on Baja Blast now, as I am known to do. Taco Bell is blessed for me. Go to Taco John's. We don't have Taco John's. Well, then you need to get to a better place. <laughs> well, apparently I do. <laughs> I already got food. <laughs> yeah. Most of the Gimecast would be indeed hard to be hard to live with. Indeed. All right. Uh. So. Oh. <laughs> so. Uh, well, it depends. We, if we, if we change their profession from dancer to exotic dancer then maybe. then they be bringing in the bank <laughs> yeah. all right if we are ready to go yeah all right first we'll do main riders and then we'll move on to secondary of course all right so starting off we have mr 2000 skills himself Godai Yusuke. Hmm. Well. Well, you. Uh, okay, so Kuga, he is a freelancer. Yep. He's an adventurer, as he would yeah. put in his own words. Um. Well, in those 2000 skills, he probably can cook. Mm hmm. Because remember. The purpose of the 2000 skills originally was to make his little sister smile. <laughs> right. Yes. So. He can cook, he can clean, he can drive you to work. He gets along well with kids. He gets along well with kids. It's like. I, he doesn't have a proper job. So I can't put him in great. Yes. I would put him in good. Yes. I was thinking either like low good or high okay because it also depends on whether or not he's out adventuring. 
right. So quote unquote adventuring. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he does travel out abroad, so yeah. I would count that as adventuring. I'm gonna say bottom good. All right, all right. All right. Next up, Agito. Sugami Shoichi. Where, where, where is that? Um, there he is. There he is. Yeah. All right. So. Great. Yes. He's great. Yes. Because he, he, he's Agito is the best waifu. Yes. Hands down. And and he's got a restaurant. Yes, he's a chef by the end of the series. So, yes, great roommate. So, yeah, if, if he's working as a chef at his own restaurant, then clearly he's making the bank. Mm-hmm. Also, you can also go into ten uh, tennis professionally. All right, that did happen. <laughs> yep, frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Ag- Agito was a trip. Yeah, it was, it was. All right, Shinji, 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 Mr. Uh, Tito Shinjo. Uh, I mean, the series starts off with him getting kicked out of his apartment because he couldn't get afford rent. But he does have a job. Barely, barely. <sighs> he barely has a job. He has to work a second uh, job at the restaurant. And even that's very tenuous. Like, I'm prepared to put him in terrible just because he can't afford rent. And most likely he has broken all the mirrors in our room. Oof. In the room. Yes. In the apartment. (laughs) Sorry, Shinji. You're you're a good boy. But I wouldn't want to live with you. I can't deal with the at most... 14 to 20 ish years worth of bad luck. I can't, I can't handle that. I really can't. Okay, uh, next up, Takumi. Where, where is our moody cat? I'm trying to find it. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Uh, I was just gonna say, right next, right next to that. Uh, right next to, uh, Kiva. Yes, so let's see. Mm-hmm. Picky eater. Picky eater. He can clean. He can do laundry. Yeah, he can do laundry. He's got a job at the laundry man. <laughs> Even though half the time he's like running out. <laughs> uh, I put him in okay. Yes, it's like as as long he, he can be moody in his own corner as long as he's not bothering me, he'd be okay. Yeah. I mean, we don't know what he was doing prior to the events of Fies. I think he was just like traveling around. He was kind of being a, a stray. He's kind of floating. Kind of like a stray dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Kenzaki. Apparently he had a job as a common rider. The government was paying him. But at the end like that that government organization had all but dissolved. Yeah. I, I actually put him in bad roommate because he's jobless and possibly dead. Mm-hmm. Probably stinks something fierce. But he, he has been shown to be capable of living with others. He was living in that mm. pseudo restaurant, or at least <laughs> that's what it that's appeared to be. Uh, oh, the um, the country house. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not terrible, but at least he can work well with others. Oh, Diggy makes a good point. AT is going to be a fun one. <laughs> it's going to be a complicated one, that's for sure. It's like... Mm. Eiji's my favorite, but also, (laughs) there are problems. There are big problems. But we'll get to Eiji when we get to Eiji. Next up, Hibiki. 
I feel like my car's gonna get dented. <laughs> car's gonna get dented. I mean, do, does the Oni organization actually pay their workers? I think that they would. Yeah, at, at the very least, it seems like like all their needs are met. Like, car, gas, equipment, information uh, gathering. Although, <laughs> Hibigir doesn't even have a cell phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually trying to look this up. It's like oh, that Oni organization or whatever it's called. Um, hmm. Although I feel like he would be, like personality-wise, somewhere between good and great because he imparts very useful life advice. But he also doesn't know how to send an email by computer. Uh that's true. <laughs> Do, does the mafia pay its employees? I don't know. <laughs> they should. I mean, I mean, it's like depending on the job. They they do put out like a a bit of a hey, good job. Here's a little extra cash yes. for your troubles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wink, wink, Thanks nudge, for, nudge. Thanks for pointing that horse head in that guy's in that guy's <laughs> bed. Here's some extra cash. Made the message real loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah. It's hits, intimidation stuff, so... A lot of times it's just a lot of paid underneath the table. Yes, some Mafia members do have an actual job to keep up appearances. But a lot of other times, it's behind closed doors, mm -hmm. so... We haven't really seen the Hibiki work at the, at the restaurant, or the cafe, or wherever the place is. Nope, not not a single time. Then again, neither has Ibuki and Todoroki. Yeah. It's mainly it's mainly been the girls and Asumu. So I want to say organiz he's getting organiz organization pay, not government pay, which is a lot better, but organization pay, which is pretty good. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna put him in good roommate. Also tax free. Hell yeah. It's like working at the casino. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, hmm. Tendo. Tendo, Mister. My grandma said. Uh, well, he's a chef, just like Agito. Okay, that that's put that puts him in good great. Okay, how how is he personality wise? Oh my God, he's unbearable. Oh dear. Okay, he's falling he, down he, already. He, he, He's he's up his own ass. Oh boy. No, no the world re revolves around him. As his grandmother said one time, make the world revolve around you and you will have the best of friends. Did it work? Uh maybe. <laughs> I mean nobody exactly hates him. The, but nobody really likes him. Either. Yeah, they, they just tolerate him. Is what you're they, saying? They tolerate him. They tolerate him. All right. like a lot. But he's also time traveled too. Well, then that, that, that even com that complicates matters a significant amount. Also, uh, you said he was a chef, right? Yep, he's a chef, and he uh, both in and out of it, of character. Damn. Yeah. All right. Mm. I, I, it's like borderline between okay and bad. Like okay because he can pay rent and cook. Bad because he's like unbearable, as you said, insufferable even. Grandmother said th said this once. Go do your own fucking chores, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Into bad he goes. <laughs> he would judge my setup thoroughly. Oh yeah, he would. Hey. My setup is being held by paper clips, string, and a dream. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next is Deno. Ryotoru. Oh god, th th this this man looks so unhappy. 
Oh yeah, he is. He got we okay. This guy is the definition of miserable. <laughs> because one, he's already really unlucky. Mm-hmm. You can tell by his first by his first introduction. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. But it is hilarious. Wait, I, I think I've seen a gif of this somewhere. Is this, is this the one where he like repeatedly gets hit by like baseballs, footballs, soccer balls? That's later. Oh. That's later, but yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like he gets hit in the head. It's like, <laughs> and then the sports people run up to him and apologize. He's like, die to the death, die to the death. And then re repeat yeah. ad infinitum. And he's a delivery boy. Oh, okay. So he's not making that much money. No, it's also for his sister's cafe, too. Oh. <laughs> Roped into the family business. The worst. Yep, and lots of mental trauma, too. Oh, no. <laughs> also, he's technically not a writer. Hmm. <laughs> he is but also isn't at the same time. This sounds complicated. <laughs> it is, because it's time travel too. Oh it no. time travels. I would actually put him underneath Tendo. I mean, I mean, yes. He, uh, he's a, he is, he's a, he's a great person. Mm -hmm. But just so much shit revolves around him. He breaks. He breaks things unintentionally. He gets into fights with the local gang members unintentionally. Oh, also split personality disorder. Oh, oh no. This is like we got. This, we got, this is like borderline terrible. I actually, I would put him in high terrible. Yes, yes, Real Toro himself is an okay person. But his split personalities are terrible. We got super aggressive, ladies man, strong idiot, brat, head up on ass. Okay, so it's basically like having six roommates, but getting the rent for one. Okay, got it. Six with, with sometimes a seventh appearing every so often. Oh no. All right, yeah. terrible it is. Ter terrible it is. Thank you for your wise counsel, Frozen. <laughs> and here's the thing. I relate to this bastard. Oh, oh that must have hurt then. <laughs> oh, yeah. This was the, my first writer series to see. And it's like, as soon as I see him uh, in the first few minutes of his introduction, I'm like, holy shit, that's me for real, for real. <laughs> He's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I can already see Chad is like having some disagreements with us. <laughs> of course, that's all personal preference. <laughs> we can all agree on that. <laughs> Where would we put Momotaros though? Momotaros is at least bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because again, he's aggressive. Oh yeah, he's the aggressive one. He's you mentioned. conflictive. Also, he tells us never to call him. He's a very busy man. <laughs> I mean, he's got like, what, five movies? Yes. Six movies? How many crossovers is he in? So many. <laughs> Plus, he's a magical girl sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I will not ask for context. I will find that out on my own. Also, uh, I think he's also got a bean paste uh, job, too. Makes bean paste on the side. Okay, so he'd make he'd at least make some money. Yeah, that's why he's above. That's why he's above real Toro. <laughs> you see, at least he has his own own job. <laughs> oh dear. All right. N next up, Wataru. Okay, he's he's a violin maker. Okay. I'm intrigued. He knows how to play the violin, too. All right. Free me. Well, okay. I, w I would pay him for his music. I I'm not that much of a dick. I was about to say free music, but then I was like, hmm. He should be paid for his work. 
All right, continue. Also, he also he is a mer major germaphobe. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, he'll also almost will never leave the house. Okay. <laughs> he, he's got he's got a pet. It's a bat. All right. All right. Also, He's also got a lizard, too. Okay, okay. I'm liking this. Um, every once in a while, a, a dog, a fish, and Frankenstein shows up. Okay, uh, I, I can work with that. Um, also his vehicle, I mean, of course he does have his motorcycle, but he also has like this dragon castle thing. Oh, his his own place. All right. Yeah. Well, kinda. It, it is his own place, but it's in a very complicated. Uh, how do how do I say this? The rights to the castle is not necessarily his. It's underneath his dad's name, and his dad's a prick. Okay. All right, I'm hearing that. Still kind of hovering in good. Um. <sighs> because there? selling violins because expensive and randomly in demand. I mean, your your house will s smell like wood varnish a lot of the time. I, I can live with that. A, a small I'm, price I'm to trying, pay. Trying to think of your of uh, Kiva here. Um, <laughs> neighbors he enjoy his baths. All right, all right. So hmm, that, he that might ask you to join join with him. Okay, a little awkward, but uh, okay, I, I can live with that. I have been to onsens um, before. This is nothing new to me. Oh, hmm. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm actually making a big mistake here. Uh-oh. Um, it's not his dad that's the prick. It's his mom's ex-husband that's the prick that owns the castle. Oh, oh, that, that complicates matters. Yeah. And he does have a half-brother. He's cool. All right. <laughs> I don't know, would, would neighbors complain to the landlord about the giant dragon castle in the sky? Would, I mean, it, it kind of blends into a building pretty well. Yeah. Also, who's gonna, like, complain about a frickin' dragon? <laughs> dragon drama. I mean... <laughs> I, it's like, would you have the guts to complain about the giant dragon castle in the sky? Exactly. Or, or or said dragon living in the castle probably. Also also the the dog, the fish, and the Frankenstein yeah. showing up every once <laughs> in a while. They're rowdy. Okay, so mm, so we're somewhere in between low good, high okay. All these factors consider, I would put them in like high okay. Yeah. Yeah. And oh boy. Decayed, Karuya Tsukasa. Mr. Common Rider passing through. Hmm. I mean, from what I've seen of him through crossover stuff, he certainly puts the dick in Decayed. He's a little bit more of a hmm. mellow Tendo. Okay. He does have a job as a photographer. Not the best pictures, but he does have a job. Um. Oh yeah, his, his boyfriend will show up and probably steal your shit. Hmm. All right. That that's a big deal breaker. Theft. Not okay. I said as I stole the belt I have to tension. 
<laughs> I am aware of the hypocrisy. Yeah. D yeah, uh, D Digi actually has the right scenario. Time to pay your half of the rent, Decade. No. <laughs> Come and ride. Invisible. Yeah. Come and ride. Invisible. <laughs> oh, God. So, I'm never getting that run rent money, am I? No. Alright. No. Out. Careful. Out. Out of, my, out of my home. Out of my home. Yes. All right. Okay, so okay. Mm -hmm. Double. Do we count both filth and Shodro? Uh, I was going to until I learned from Fudo Tante that Shotaro does have his own apartment. Yes. We were never shown it <laughs> until Fudo Actually, Tante. We were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, if he can afford his own apartment, that means the detective job. Is paying well now. It yeah, wasn't at the start. It, it wasn't at the start. The apartment was nice. As we saw those long was, shots yeah. of Tokime just s lounging around in the bed. Yes. It's small, yeah. but it's cozy. Yeah. Um. Very hard boiled detective <laughs> shenanigans or half boiled detective shenanigans. Yes. Um. Actually, he's, he's pretty cool. He, I mean, he can't make coffee worth a damn, oh, but... Good thing I don't drink coffee. Yeah, but he, but he, but it's going to be, but the smell is going to be in your house. You know what? I can live with that. I, I have dealt with worse smells in my life. No, I will not elaborate. Uh, so yeah, I would actually put him in either low good or high okay. All right, low good. Okay. But his partner Philip. Philip. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Philip is very minimalist. Yes. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Unlimited knowledge of the earth could make me pay his half. Mm hmm. Oh yes, General VC is open. If you if you wanna hop in, go yeah, right go, ahead. Go ahead. And I will pull up Fugi Tech and get like everyone's. Reactives ready to go in case that ever happens, in case we get some new people popping in. Anyways, yes, yeah. fill up. Yeah. Unlimited knowledge. Big boon. Minimalist. Also, big boon. Uh, also has a tendency of being one track when they find something interesting. Oh, yeah, definitely. Real, real, real big ADHD vibes, really. Like he is, he is the poster child for ADHD. I would say, just like me, for real, for real, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. Also, hello. Hello, hello. Hey. Welcome, Awasi. Let me grab your PNG reactive and throw you in here, so the good people in chat can see you. Wait, creep. oh, do I need to provide that? Or <laughs> no, I have Fugi no. pulled up. It, it, when people join the ch voice chat, it just gets automatically added. So, That's weird. Uh, but, but very uh, helpful. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's like two different links. There's an individual and then there's, there's a group. It'll just kind of like have everybody on a line. Unfortunately, it also changes the size of it too. So it gets very messy if somebody doesn't have like a half body pick or a very large pick. It's so tiny. Yes. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, Ag, Ag, my boy, Ag. Oh, I, 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 I love you, but damn, there are problems here. I don't think that uh, what's the word of vagabond who wanders the earth pays well. Nope. And uh, he cut. Does that pay well? And he cut off ties with his politician father, so we can't mooch money off there. We we also have to deal with his very selfish boyfriend. Uh huh. I love Ag, but <laughs> he's, he's a got a lot of things against him. He's a ten, but it, it, well, also minimalist. Yes. Oh, he doesn't need much. That's true. He doesn't yeah. need much. Just needs a room. <laughs> Just needs a room and enough money for tomorrow's underwear. And and has a job working a rest at a restaurant. Part time. Part time. But again, he also has to help 
pay for his is uh very selfish boyfriend mm-hmm. like what is it like ep- episode two and three boyfriend got a new iphone oh yeah yeah and, oh there's gonna be popsicle sticks that's littered everywhere just, just provide him with the ice cream. There yes. we go. Yeah, just I can. Be, I'll be fine with the popsicle sticks. Yes, we're gonna need a big freezer then. <laughs> yeah. So yes. I you know, like one of those like large horizontal freezers. Yep, exactly the one I'm thinking of. The one we we used to have for like storing meat. Yeah, the meat locker. Yes. <laughs> so yes, um. Ag, I love you, but you're you're in high bad. Yeah, it, it hurts to put you there, it but hurts. it's the truth. <laughs> Our opinions are correct. Yeah, but the next one, I want to put in great. Oh yes. Well, are we talking like how far are we gonna go into like spoiler territory? Yeah, I'm just... I am making things as vague as I am possible. Yes. I I may... I I say may have... Oh, sorry. I I may have said a little bit too much for Deno, but I didn't give away too much. This guy will pay rent on the dot, ask for what toppings on your pizza for when they order, Yeah, he I'd is, say he'd be a great roommate. Yes. He is the bro. Yeah, if if we're including like the epilogue, yes, he will be able to pay, to be able to pay rent by that time. He's a high school teacher. Yes. That is the thing that I, I was like, should I mention that? It's like that's like post story or something. It's post story, but also was in like a few two mo- mentioned or brought up in like two movies. Yeah, yeah. That that's also the same reason why we put uh, Shoichi Ed and Great because by the end he's a, a chef running his own restaurant. Oh, in that case, in that case, Gaim is gonna be a fun one. Oh, oh, Gaim. Yeah, he he's coming yeah. up soon. Oh yeah. boy. Right after this next guy. Yes. I believe. M- Mr. Plain Sugar Donuts himself. <sighs> like There's just powdered sugar, sugar everywhere. Oh, that that would be, that would be a minor annoyance, I will admit. He does work at an in- an antique shop, so he does he can hold a job. However, how much does an antique shop worker make? <laughs> Not much. Uh... Not much. <laughs> A little above minimum wage, I think. Okay, so he, he's hovering. He's hovering between okay um, and bad. The, the magic is actually pretty good that he has. He can help if you're having trouble falling asleep. There's a there's a sleep ring. Um, there's also like dress up. He can help you look fancy. Uh, c- connect. You can, he, he's just gra- He can go grab stuff for you. And he proved that Santa Claus is real. And he oh, yeah. also proved that Santa Claus is real. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, according to the wizard timeline, Santa has the potential to become a common Rider. Oh, wait a minute. Man. He doesn't work at the antique shop. Oh. He is a roamer. Okay. Oh, oh. Same yes. Realm as AG. yes, he did have an. Have, yes, he did go to an antique shop. He just hangs out there. He doesn't actually do any work. He, he actually lives there. Oh, the guy that makes his rings owns the antique shop. Oh, okay. So he's freeloading. Okay. He's freeloading. Oh, oh no. <laughs> but at least you get free donuts on command. There may yeah. be plain sugar. But free donuts. Look, look, I can deal with plain sugar donuts. In fact, I'll probably like... I like plain sugar. Yeah. In fact, I'll probably like ha- let him have his share because like I'm trying to cut back. I don't know. Those mayonnaise donuts kind of looked good. Uh, I would try one just for the sake of trying it. 
And of course, I will put extra mayonnaise on it. Well, the Japanese mayonnaise, isn't it like sweeter than American yeah. mayonnaise? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, Kota. Kota, Kota, Kota. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is, um... <laughs> I was he terrible? Yeah. He, he ain't paying rent. I mean, yes, he, he does have jobs. He does have jobs. And... <laughs> but not by the end of the series. Yeah, not by the end of the series, and, uh... But fruit Jesus. <laughs> fruit Jesus. Yes. Jesus doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> Tell that to the collection plate at church. Exactly. <laughs> okay, look, he, he's like he's God, but <laughs> yeah. he's just chilling out, doing his own thing, and kind of ignoring everything else. Yeah. I mean, you can after the events of Gaim, can you really blame him for doing that? Yeah. He'd be better than Baron. He'd be better than Baron. Oh yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's a low bar. <laughs> that's a low <laughs> bar, yes. I mean, not necessarily a low... I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Kota. Nice guy! Terrible roommate. <laughs> We're never seeing yeah. that rent money. Yeah. However, <laughs> on the flip side... <laughs> Shinosuke Tomare. He has a job as a cop, so first off, no drugs in the house. I mean, <laughs> no problems there. No drugs in the house, you can't have alcohol, but you just can't leave the house with it. I mean, I never leave the house with alcohol anyways. <laughs> I'm a law-abiding citizen! <coughs> I mean, I'm a, oh, yeah. a, I'm a bit of a punk. I have, definitely have clashing philosophies with him, though. Yes. <laughs> Because of that, he'd be okay. He's like, okay. He's like, <laughs> we we also gotta deal with his wife and kid. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. But he has a car. Right. <laughs> no, he had a car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is like. Like, live ranking right now. Everything you say moves them up or down. Uh, police officers. And, I mean, he's in a special division of police off officer. Yeah. He's one of the good ones. He's one of the good ones. As contradictory uh, as that may seem, it's true. <laughs> I... And the wife and kid isn't exactly like a deal breaker. You can be like be like an uncle figure for the kid. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I had to fill in that position. Uh, uh, hmm. I mean, we just have to be all, all you have to do is be on your behavior when he's at home and then when he's gone, it's just like, all right. Oh, right. He's also kind of lazy too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... He still gets paid, right? He gets paid, but it's just like it's, it takes him more while to get in gear. It's it's like your car on a winter morning. It's, it takes a while. Yeah. I say he's good where he is. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like yeah, he pays the rent, but uh, no fun allowed. Yeah. <laughs> just insert that picture of that robot putting down that sign. <laughs> and just imagine oh, like Mr. Belt's voice. <laughs> no fun allowed! Alright, uh, who's next? Ghost? I am Tenkuji Takaru. On my 18th birthday, I was killed by Gamma and brought back as a ghost. I mean, he's also a spirit detective. Hey, could you get life insurance on him? <laughs> it would be the greatest con if you could. Yes. You could get so much money that way. Yes, but also, um, you'd probably be put on a police watch list. Okay, yeah. probably. Probably. This man has died four times today. 
what the hell's happening here? <laughs> it's the same guy every time. I don't know. Oh yeah, he would get tax breaks because of he owns a temple. That's right. Oh shit. That that would be pretty good actually. And personal assistance too. God damn, why does Ghost appear really high on the peer list I've seen when the series <laughs> itself is bad? It's, it's, it's also series has a lot of, for for a series that was claiming to have that people have infinite potential, it really had none. I th I think the problem is that the it was trying to tackle mature themes, but the fact that it was a common writer series was what it was holding ba it back. Yeah. Also, this is a, this, the guy who also wrote it, also wrote for Wizard, and he, and he likes to pack in so much crap. But yeah, great roommate, but, this boy. Yeah, he's, he's temple, temple tax reduction. Yes. Tax write-offs, ahoy! Hell yeah. Uh, who's next? Oh, my favorite. Genius Gamer boy. M. <laughs> Hojo Emu, where is he? This is the problem. Like they're all wearing doctor coats. Wait. Uh. Green shirt. Uh. No, that's go. Is, is he not in here? Wait, I thought I added him. He's not here. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, edit. Oh no. Edit. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Emu. Emu. <laughs> did I not save his picture? Oh my god! I did not save his picture. <laughs> All right. You got to my boy. Emu Hojo. <laughs> he, he's off playing video games. What do you think? <laughs> well, well, he's also a doctor too. Yeah, he's a doctor in training, and I'm pretty sure he finished his training. Yeah, because he, no, he was a, he, he, in training, yes, but he's also a pediatrician. Oh yeah, it's working with the kids. <laughs> All right, there we go. Emu, Emu, Emu. What happened to you? There you are. Add. Dan, uh, what is your name? Uh, Sora, Dan would be the most insufferable roommate. Yes. <laughs> but he would be... He could pay the rent easy. He'd be entertaining, right. but he'd be insufferable. Yes. I would say... Uh, and, and if I get sick, well, he knows what to do. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm talking about Emu here. <laughs> also, you can get some pretty good video games, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, you get your ass kicked. Yes. Well then, learn to get oh. good. Skill yeah, you will actually be—you actually learn how to be better because of him. Oh yeah, definitely. He'd be a really fun person to like play co-op games with. Yes. Oh yeah. But oh, yeah. but like competitive. Uh. Mm, oh yeah, he'd kick your ass. Don't don't bet any signif anything significant if you're playing against him. You come will on, lose. Thunder, how come you're not taking this? Come on, Thunder, take this. <laughs> you gotta take it, man. You gotta take it. I'm dying of the bugster virus skill issue. <laughs> it's like if if you keep doing it, I'll keep punishing it. <laughs> All right, yeah, doctor gamer. Well, yeah, he's he's pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, we also got to deal with his uh, twin brother. <laughs> You know, it's never made clear. <laughs> but yeah, um, hmm. Yeah, that would make him lower if it's like two for one deal, hmm. Shit, yeah, are we dealing with Tarado or. I know we're dealing with the other doctors in Kuroto later. Yeah. Oh, no, I meant like if we're just like have him as a roommate, are we dealing with Tarado? Mm. Like, would he come along? He, he kind of. Spoilers for x by the way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but why is Forze top tier? Because, uh, he can pay rent, he's like the ultimate bro, and like, <laughs> other things we mentioned. He would, he would, he would ask us what toppings we want on our pizza. He'd make sure this, the fridge and pantry are always stocked full of like tasty snacks and stuff. <laughs> and he's just an all around swell guy to be around. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Exade build. All right. Sento Kiryu. He's a physicist. All right. 
That means there's no shortage of jobs potential. Um, Would make a ton of money, but he's kind of a, he's very arrogant. Yeah, that's why he's like in okay so far. <laughs> You know, actually, look, looking at Sento, he didn't really have much. Yeah, it's like, hmm. He, he, yeah, he's smart and arrogant. And? But he has a strong moral compass, and he will do the right thing. Yeah. I think he's also used the... the exploits of his adventures as a screenplay for an actual TV show. All right, so that's even more money. All right. Yeah. He's very marketable. <laughs> I mean, based on how many people I've talked to who like say they like slash love build, yes. I mean, I find it kind of funny that build itself is a show within a show, kinda. <laughs> Also, I like how the backgrounds on Amu and uh, Sento are like similar colors, so it looks like they're standing side by side. Yeah. I mean, they're both in the scientific field. I mean, one's medical science and the other is like physics. 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 What's physics? It's fi yeah, he's a physicist. Oh, thought he was like. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. Yeah. Physicist. Okay, <laughs> like I said, great job potential. No problems paying rent. It, but even then, he'll probably like decide to live like a gremlin in the basement. Or in the fridge. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> That's true. I forgot that the fridge was like the door to the basement. And okay, let's so go. Hmm. He's a king. He's a king. I I know nothing about Gio, so Gio. Gio? Yeah. Okay. Gio. Gio. Kinda like Jikan for time and O for King. I think that's what they were going for. Yeah. Ah. Alright, so yes, start I know nothing about Alright, starts off in high school, graduates from high school. Job aspirations, King. <laughs> And he means that, like, unironically, too. So... Do I... D does he, does he, does he collect taxes from the people? Does he have his own currency pl played out? How much land does he control? Is, is it in anything that has plenty of resources? What are his relations with other countries? What country are we even in? Yes. In this scenario. <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what, what is what is he, he, he a king of anyway? Exactly. King of okay. time? He's like, can you even rule over something so abstract? Well, if the king title is official, he doesn't have to pay taxes. Yes. So it's a similar situation to uh, ghosts. In fact, he'd be the one get, getting the taxes. You wouldn't have to work a day in your life. Yes. I mean, it's kind of redundant that he, that you have that he has to pay you for rent, but you also got to pay him for living <laughs> in his. Uh, you know what? We'll just call it even. <laughs> somewhere in the middle. Yes, he'd be like. Mm. I mean, just not having to pay taxes. In fact, getting taxes too would probably put him in great. Like, I would almost like bump him down to like high good, almost. I'm kind of torn here though. Also, he's n not that smart really. I mean, one of his lines is, I hope this works. <laughs> I mean, when you're king, you can just hire smart people. 
I mean, I guess that's why Waz is there. Oh yeah, if we wanna... if we do have Sogo, we'd probably have to like bring Waz along too. Oh yeah, we gotta look into Iwai. <laughs> Iwai, my Iwai. <laughs> Waga Maoda. <laughs> My my master has taken the largest shit. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, yeah. One of his li one of his lines is, "I've got a feeling this will work out." <laughs> may or may not work, but we'll see. Ride or die. I I mean, you yeah. you could chalk that up to like King's decree. <laughs> Also he, he, also, he can't get the phrases of common writers right. Oh, yeah. That would, that, that would rub me the wrong way. Okay. that would, He would be in, like, high okay just for that. Uh, what does he say? Oh. Oh, yeah. Prepare to hear Waz's standby blaring at 2 a.m. every day. <laughs> Both of them. Oh yeah. Oh, which which one? The f the fir first Zio or second Zio, or all three? Just to fuck with you. Oh, probably all. Three. Oh god, I'd never get any sleep. <laughs> all right, just for that. <laughs> He's moving down in okay. I'm actually trying to find some of the wrong phrases that he's got. Why? Is, also, uh, I just noticed. Why is a uh, Date on there twice? Yeah, I noticed that um, Michinaga, uh, Banjo, Daiji, and Date are here twice for some reason. I don't know. Something must have happened when I was. <laughs> Something must have happened when I uploaded all these. I just want attention. <laughs> I mean, Date certainly got a lot of attention during New York Snark Exchange's Common Rider Smasher Pass. Mm. What happened to the TV? Geo Trinity! <laughs> okay. Alright, so Heisei main riders are done. Now we move on to. Arutuja Naito! So this guy has two professions mm -hmm. a comedian. Yep, okay. And a roboticist. Yes. <laughs> CEO of a, the biggest robotics corporation in the country. Yep. So, uh, unlimited money, basically. Practically, yeah. Yes. And tells great jokes. All right, that that's a plus. Humor subjective, but I'll but I'll give him a chance. Yes. Yeah. He, yeah. He goes up there. You know he's gonna pay the things on time. There might be a crappy joke with it. I'll deal with it. But he, he, he's loaded and he uh, needs a place to stay. Oh, we also gotta do with uh, Izu. I see that as an absolute win. Yeah, that that's great roommate. All right. Oh, even if you have to consider the fact that like a motorcycle will just come crashing down from orbit from time to time via satellite. <sighs> Yeah. I, I could deal with that. I can deal with that. And let's see. <laughs> Next up is the author. Toma. It's like Toma. <laughs> All right. He, he, he can make good books. He makes good books. He, he makes books. He he gets them published too. So yeah, he he gets paid in royalties. So uh, long term money there. You'll have no shortage of reading material. His... Mm, yeah. his editor will pop in from time to time, but she's a nice lady. His, his editor will pop in. His editor's boyfriend will pop in. Mm -hmm. Toma's boyfriend will pop in. Yep. <laughs> also, his girlfriend. <laughs> so you're saying it'd be like a really busy but uh, well off life? Yes. Yeah. Oh, also yeah. his, uh, also his, the, um, his blacksmith will show up, and he's very loud. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I think that's about it. The the team dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the team dad will show up. The team the team brother will show up too. The annoying green the kid, but he he grows out of it. Yeah, he grows out of it and becomes the evil kid. Yes. <laughs> Like you'll have no shorter reading material. There's like a freaking like train set in the middle of the house, which I'm fine with. I like trains. Yeah, this is a very nice complimentary piece. Yes, e- even if like you have to deal with like school children showing up to meet like their favorite storybook author, t- I-, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Oh, hi, Melinda. Welcome, welcome. We are currently ra- ranking common writers based on how good of a roommate they'd be. And we're almost done with main writers. Speaking of main writers, the next one would be Iki. And I. Unlimited access to the onsen. Yes. And even if he, when he leaves the onsen, he's proven he can get a job, he can cook. For the most part, he's actually pretty responsible, even with Vice's bad influence. Yeah, we also have to deal with Vice altogether. <laughs> yeah, v- Vice! <laughs> My opinions on Vice is like... He- he's a goofy guy. I like him. <laughs> Maybe a little too goofy sometimes. I mean, that Passing the Torch episode in Saber did not fill me with uh, high expectations for Vice, but quick. thankfully they were quickly dispelled. Mm-hmm. I was afraid it was going to be all fart jokes with him. Thank goodness it wasn't. But yes, unlimited onsen. Very nice, happy, picturesque family. Even with the problems later on, they're still a nice, happy family that stick together. Mm-hmm. And even if we take like the whole like onsen and family out and just factor in just like that one episode where he had to live on his own with Vice, even that it, that would put him in like good. But like to, all together, he'd be great. Yeah. Oops, I was muted. Um, I was saying I hate to go, but I gotta head out. Alright. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Awasi. That was nice stopping by. Yes. See you again See in ya. another stream. Yep. See ya. Alright, Iki. Iki good. Iki good. Yeah. yeah. Ace. A... Hmm. Okay, so Ace is a celebrity. So, and yeah. What? I don't know. He is the star of the stars of the stars. Whatever the hell that means. I mean, he gets he gets to a photo shoot. He was on that sh- on that house flipping show. So he is getting paid. To, he's being paid to show up at these pla- at these things. Mm-hmm. M- mad social uh stuff. His house, being pretty comfy to, from what we've seen. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It's a very comfy looking house. We're not exactly sure if it's his actual house or just a house that he was living in because of the wish that wish to be a part of the Grand Prix family. Yes. <laughs> it literally meant family. <laughs> family, family, family. <laughs> However, uh, he's a bit of a trickster. He can definitely rub you the wrong way. He's he's not above pulling a fast one on you. Hey man, it's time for you to pay. It's your turn to pay for half your rent. <laughs> oh no, I did that last. I did that last. I did that last time. month. Uh, uh, I suppose you did. Hey, wait a minute. No, no, it'd be like, no, it'd be more like this. Yeah, I already paid the rent. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. (laughs) And and you're like, you mean for this month, right? No, I paid the rent. (laughs) Shouldn't have to pay for it again. (laughs) He would definitely say something like that. 
And then when you actually go to go to your 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 renter's place and apparently he's right. Mm. Ace is right. He's, he's just right. You did pay your rent. Yeah, he he, he just paid your rent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like like six months ago. I don't know why you guys are complaining. <laughs> you, you paid the rent. You get to live there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would put him in like all factors considered. I would put him in like probably mid good. The only thing preventing him from great is because of his like trickster personality. Yeah. But the, the latest episode did show just how big brained he can be. I don't know if you've seen the latest episode yet. So, I guess on the secondary writers? Oh, yeah, secondary writers. Starting with, uh, where, where, where is our favorite clumsy boy? Hikawa. Yeah, there he is. Hikawa, hmm. Well, he's a police officer. So he makes good money. However, he'd probably money. break everything in the house. True. Uh, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I don't know really how well he cooks. I know he can barely get tofu out of a bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that falls into a breaks everything. It's like, hmm. Uh, somewhere in bad, definitely. Yeah, he's in bad. It's like, it's like, I like you. You're a nice guy. You're handsome. You're strong. You have a strong sense of justice. But God damn it, nothing in my house is going to survive because of you. And the other one, where is where is Rio? There he is. Hmm. All right. So you have to keep this guy hydrated. Oh yeah, the water bill is going to be crazy. Yeah. On the other hand, he does have a job as a bike mechanic. That's actually pretty good, but also in Japan, those bikes are kind of outlawed. Oh. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Rio. Rio, I know things are always bad for you, but uh, you're going to have to go into bad roommate. Also, pretty much anyone that like he gets close to gets like targeted by the unknowns. Yeah. So, uh, no yeah. thanks. No thanks. Okay. Next up. Ren. Uh, don't know about this one. Like, personality-wise, he can rub you the wrong way. However, he can't. He did get a job at the cafe. He's good at it. It's like if he can keep his mouth shut, he's actually easy to get along with. He can cook. He can clean. He's just caught in a desperate situation. He, he's he's got to for he's got to be forced to kill to save the most important person in his life. Yeah. Mm. I put him at the very bottom of good. <laughs> and uh, t -t 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 next one. Kaiser, right next to Dan. T -t 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 Fourth from the left. There we go. I was just making sure. Did I did I have uh, Kitaoka in here? Doesn't look like I have Kitaoka in here, Mister Lawyer. Oh right, the ter the tertiary. Yeah, the tertiary. I should probably if he's not in here, I will add him like really quick. Like K K K. Uh, Kitaoka. Throw him in here. Even though he's probably like being bad slash terrible. Oh, there he is. Yes. It's like, hmm. He could pay. He's a lawyer, but he probably like lord over the place like he owns it. Expect me to do everything. Yeah. And the constant hospital visits means uh, 
Someone's got to drive him there and back. It's like, mm. Like, all that plus is like, aggravating personality. I put him like near the top of terrible. Now Goro, on the other hand, straight to great. No, I will not elaborate. Goro, that's the... Th that's Kitauka's assistant. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that they kept on trading off between decks, right? Yes. It's like, great cook. Good job. Likeable personality. Technically a rider. Okay. The, the okay. only thing he loses out in is uh, Shinji's uh, gyoza are better, apparently. But we can't really hold that against him. Yeah. Kaiza. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I know he's in terrible, but. How far and terrible? I actually want to say below Gaim. Yes, he, he is very manipulative. Very manipulative. We go through so many hand wipes. Can and will gaslight you. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Probably will kill you if you even look at Mari the wrong way. Mm hmm. He also doesn't have a job, I think. That's right. The most important part no job. And, and plus, ashes would be everywhere. That You know how hard that is to clean up? All right, that was, that was pretty easy to put uh, Kusaka in terrible. Uh, next up, Tachibana. Oh, oh boy. Why is Guy a terrible uh, roommate? Because uh, he's Jesus, and Jesus doesn't pay bills. Yeah. And he just kind of like fucked off to like his own place. I kind of, I kind of want to put Tachibana in like the same spot that we have uh blade yeah because, it, because it, they're practically interchangeable mm -hmm. except the difference is is that uh, tachibana sign will actually try to eat your puzzle pieces <laughs> he'll eat your puzzle pieces oh no it's like tachibana sign you realize how long we, we took to assemble that puzzle and now there's a missing piece and it's all because of you Also, prepare for the house to smell like seaweed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the seaweed bath, the bath they took. Ugh, disgusting. It's like, I don't care if it gives you superpowers, it, the house smells terrible now. Yeah. And then we got, uh, what, Chalice? Yeah, we have Callus here. <laughs> I mean, technically he could work at the Taiyaki stand, but I don't think that brings in much money. I think he's also in the same spot as the as the other two. Yeah. Of course, we gotta keep Kenzaki and Hajime separated. Yeah, yeah. Tachibana was the bench the whole time. Ibuki, Mr. Wait, is Ibuki on this list? Wait. Oh no, Ibuki isn't on this list. What the hell? I was, I was for certain I added Ibuki. H, uh, there we go, Ibuki. Mr. Small Waist. Hmm. Whore. Affectionate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he would be like in the same position as Hibiki, even albeit lower too. Yeah, he's, he's got the Oni job. He's got the Oni. Actually, I would say he's better than Hibiki because he actually knows about technology. Yes. 
And also, it's a pretty cool looking bike. You know, as long as Hibiki doesn't crash it. Yeah. Has a girlfriend. Well, probably a fight girlfriend over. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Still good roommate. Usually swaps between playing the flute and playing trumpet. Mm -hmm. And also a swell guy from what we've seen so far. Yeah. No major problems. I have a neutral kind of secondary writer. Don't really get to see many of those. They're either like complete assholes or complete assholes. Or like s super nice but like super oblivious guys like in the case of Rintaro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I need to like... I didn't know who like the secondaries were in like Kabuto, Kiva... Oh, Deno, uh, Kabuto. Uh, you I don't want to look up get attack. All right. Uh, so Kabuto Rider. is attack. Attack. You are gonna have to help me with these again. Okay, attack. Search up. Uh. Yeah, not uh, the, not the singer, the common writer. Arata Kagami. Yep. Kagami. <laughs> All right. Uh, save in this uh, Kagami save. All right. Walk us through. Who who is Gatak? Who is Kagami? He's the guy that wanted to be Kabuto, but because of his very forward thinking, he does, didn't really get to Kabuto Zector till Geo. Oh yeah, that did happen in Geo. Yep. Very forward, kind of... He, he's very upfront about things. He doesn't really like to... <sighs> K Kagami is just a guy that's just... Okay, th a little bit of a thing for Kabuto. Kagami is the main character of Kabuto. Not Kabuto, Kagami. Oh, so it's like, he's like Asumo in Hibiki. Yes. So, does he have a job? Yes, he works at a restaurant. All right. Not, not Kabuto's restaurant, by the oh, way. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would be some conflict there. Okay, so well, far not, so good. Well, Yes, um, but he's also part of Zek. Mm -hmm. The people that helped make the uh, Zekters. Mm. Alright. And then he get fired. Oh. But, 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 then he gets put, but then he gets put in charge of Neo Zek. Mm. Alright, so. So. Got a job. I, I think it's. I, I think. I don't remember, but I think. I don't exactly remember much of Kabuto because after the time shenanigans that happened, I kind of lost track. All right, so he's so, he's a he's a straight shooter, forward thinker, possibly one track mind. Had a job. He will pay. Had a job, lost a job, got another job, so he can pay. Yeah. All right. Any other quirks or tendencies I need to know about this guy that could affect his ranking? Uh, kind of gullible at times. Uh oh. That bumped him down to two. I, know, I, I, I know that he got he fell for a few tricks that happened, a few things. That's so pop. That's all I can remember about Kagami. All right, so he'd be like, he'd be okay, okay just by sheer forgettableness, I suppose, which is really feels really mean to say. Yeah. 
but you know, b- being the guy who was supposed to be the main writer and having that stolen from you, it doesn't really help your case. Yeah. All right, now we need to add the other ones. Let's see, it was like Sakurai. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Sakurai, pick that. Uh, was... Keisuke. Keisuke Nago and uh, no, don't pick all of those. And Daiki Kaito. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling, from what I've heard of Dn, he's already going to be in terrible. Oh, yeah. He's the one that steals the stuff, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll save me some time. All right. All right. Um. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. All right. Um. So Sakurai, Zeronos. Yes. Um. He's a he's uh, he's kind of aggressive. Okay. But that's only half the time. Okay. Half the time he's aggressive. The other half, yeah, he's he's the perfect roommate. Hmm. He'll make sure that your di- that your diet's up to up to date. Oh, that definitely all helps. That other stuff that helps his case. But then again, that's only half the time. Yeah. Okay. So. But that is only until you remember him. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So sometime later down the road, you're gonna be like, "Oh, who's the stranger in my house?" <laughs> okay, that would that would actually hurt. Maybe even well, like I mean, it's, it's like both ways. Yeah. You you will remember him and he won't probably remember you. But, but what if what what if Dikey steals me a PS5? Here here's the thing. I don't want a <laughs> PS5. Huh. He usually goes for treasures, older stuff. Yeah. Really Indiana Jones kind of character for yeah. uh, for Dikey. <laughs> But for, for for Sakurai, I I'm gonna have to say okay. Yeah. Cause he's got a split personality too. Yeah, it, it seems like a very like very high highs and very low lows for Sakurai. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, so Keisuke from Kiva. Super Christian. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that, that that doesn't help this case. He does have a job as like he has a job in the same in the same sense that Ghost has the job. Ah, is is he? It's mostly working with it's working with the supernatural. Oh, okay. Uh, best way to put it, uh, Van Helsing. Ao, let's go. I mean, the thing is, you're fighting against bank, uh, vampires, which are essentially vampires, mm-hmm. ba- fangires, fangires. Sorry, they, they are essentially vampires, but with the gl- but they have more of a stained glass kind of thing. If you've ever seen, have you ever played Medieval? I vaguely remember that name. Uh, you play as a skeleton, dude. Yeah. Okay. That 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 clears it up. I remember uh, the, seeing the, that the around. First boss, the first boss of that game is is a like this demon, uh, a glass thing. Mm-hmm. That's that's what a fa- that's what most fan guys are like. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That definitely clears things up for me. Thank you. Um, so that's his job. How- so he, yeah, demon hunter. Okay, how- he's a demon hunter. So how is he personality-wise? Like I said, super Christian. Oh yeah, that 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 hurt him. <laughs> it's like I I don't want to go back there. I, I and I will not elaborate on that. You'll return that that soul to God. <laughs> no, but I want to put that salt on my French fries. That would probably piss him off, me saying that. Yeah, I mean, 
there is like a little bit of a story arc where he is completely devastated that he can't be the secondary writer anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hmm. And uh, Daiki, we already put him in terrible. Yeah, no he, explanation needed. Yeah, he, He'd steal our he, shit. He, he, he'll steal your stuff. We don't know what he'll do with it, though. <laughs> We're not sure if he just hoards or sells it. All we know is that he steals it. Yeah. There's, He never explains what he does with it. Maybe he returns it to its rightful owner. Who knows? Only he knows. <laughs> Only he knows. But that doesn't change the fact that he's stealing my shit. Terrible! <laughs> yeah. Terrible. All right. Terrible. <laughs> All right. Now to the second half of Heisei. Mr. Don't Ask Me Questions. Hey, where's the rent? Don't ask me questions! <laughs> yeah, that would... It's like, he can pay the rent! But he'll refuse to do it because we asked him. Yeah. Hey, do you get the rent? No! Shut up! Leave me alone! We also gotta deal with his wife and kid. Oh, no. I'm gonna get bonked in the head with green slippers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, he's got drugs laying around the place, too. Oh. <laughs> so he's like the opposite of Shinosuke and Hikawa. Yeah. Te te I mean, he probably doesn't have it exactly laying around, but it's probably still like in his coat pocket or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A <laughs> uh, little explanation. Uh, Gaia memories are essentially drugs. Yeah, they're, they're basically a drug allegory. Which means our heroes use drugs to fight other drug users. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, 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 there's a difference. The ones that the ones that the that the that the dope pants are using are are like the unprescribed stuff. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, Double and X and XL have prescribed stuff. <laughs> the. the the, the, the stuff that is safe to you. The over-the-counter stuff. The over-the-counter stuff. <laughs> well, the dope pants are the ones that you find in the shady in shady alleyways. Yes. <laughs> Yo, dude, I got. I heard you got that sweet ass guy in memory. Yeah. Yeah, I got. I got. I got uh, book. I got dummy. I got uh, weather. Oh, weather's good. Oh. Weather's great. Yeah, Melinda, Melinda, you have it right. <laughs> Flintstone gummies versus cocaine. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but damn, they, damn, these Flintstone gummies hit different. <laughs> oh, wait, Missoula's in O's. We're still on double. Yeah, yeah. Us, uh, I guess, but we're, we are moving to... O's and O. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, continue. Oh, mm, mm. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Okay, here's the thing. I don't recognize this guy as Bert. Yeah, there's two Berths. <laughs> there's two Berths. Yes. That guy, I, I recognize. It's Dante Akira. Yes. Mr. Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears guy. The guy that brings around an entire gallon jug of 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 sal metal yes and he calls that is, he, and he calls goto broto <laughs> yeah i i want to say that he's well he well first off he's got a job as a doctor yeah that's a that's a big plus that's a plus big plus that means he can pay yes he's also super friendly yes he he will smack your shit up. He will smack your shit if you if you do something terrible. But then there's also that little heart thing that that he had. But that, that, I mean, I think I think they cleared that up. They they did clear that up actually. Yeah. Oh, he's a vol. Oh yeah, they, he was a volunteer doctor in like conflict zones. That's true. Yeah. Right. Do he, he's not he's not an actual doctor. He's just. A one that plays on he plays on TV. 
No, wait, wait a minute. Was was he an actual doctor in that in that gate special? He was. But like, but whether or not he's like domestic doctor or volunteer doctor, he's still a doctor. Yeah. So if, if I have a tummy ache, he can help me. Oh, if I've drunk too much of the alcohol. <laughs> I went through a drinking session of Ryuki. <laughs> tatakai, tatakai, tatakai. But yeah, Sora's right. He he's still an actual doctor, but he's a volunteer one for like crisis zones and like war zones. Mm -hmm. He's like got the right training. Oh yeah, he's also getting paid by Happy Birthday. Happy birthday! Yeah, I just like recently found out like a year ago that like. That actor was like in the like the Wonder Core commercials, <laughs> and he's basically just playing Mr. Happy Bus Day. <laughs> it, it's still like the same loud, boisterous voice, but he's advertising exercise equipment. <laughs> like if you go to YouTube and uh, search up, I want to say. Uh, Kogami Wonder Core. And it'll be like the first one. Funny Japanese commercial Wonder Core. It's like a minute long, but it's like... <laughs> it's like Mr. Happy Birthday in ridiculous situation that caused him to fall down backwards, only to like land on a, like an exercise machine and and show off the results of said exercise machine. <laughs> That's basically his origin story, and <laughs> I will not elaborate. All right, uh, the other birth, <laughs> Goto. Hmm. So he's Goto, like Date, is also on Mr. Happy Bus Day's payroll. So he's also getting paid well. He's, he's kind of like a moody, whiny man at the start, but thankfully he grows out of it. He has a very hot assistant. Is Satonaka Goto's assistant, or are they just like simply co-workers? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, co-workers co says assistant. Yeah, she I'm... helps out in the field. Yeah. Give, like throwing, helping throw cell medals for his gun. Or using or said like guns. What he was, or using said guns. <laughs> like how he was with uh, Date Akira. Yeah. And unlike Date Akira, he, he actually read the instruction manual for birth. So he knows like yeah. all the advanced functionalities. <laughs> like birthday. Yes. <laughs> In full on scorpion mode. So yes. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I would put him in good, but like, where in good is the question. Hmm. I say actually where you put him at the beginning. End of good? That works. End of good, yeah. 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 He reads the instruction manual, so if you buy like a new vacuum cleaner or a Roomba, he'll figure that shit out. Yeah. Alright, uh. Sakta Ryusei. Did you know that Musei means meteor in Japanese? Very secretive. Yeah, but that doesn't work against. That works against him. Um, not really too friendly at times. Yeah. Um, does no kung fu. He does. <laughs> It's the Bruce Lee style, too. Yeah. Um... Uh... Can't remember... I can't remember much else about him. Uh... 
will act as your cock blocker. <laughs> that did happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel... <laughs> That's definitely going to get taken out of context. But yeah, I would put him in bad roommate just because of all the secrets. All right, M M Mr. Mr. Lunchtime. Nito Kosuke. L. Mayonnaise on everything. L I O N. La on. <laughs> Mayonnaise on okay, everything. So yeah. Mayonnaise on everything. You, you, the entire door for 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 the refrigerator is going to be filled with mayonnaise. Oops, all mayonnaise. He actually knows better not to put the mayonnaise directly into the into the fridge, but into the door of the fridge. Uh, he's basically they homeless. Are special for that. Basically homeless. Yeah. Yes. So that that doesn't help no his case for. Either. The rent, yes. No job, no home, just kind of camps out in the park. And people just kind of accept that. And once again, mayonnaise on everything. Oh, uh, yes. Even things that already have mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Mayonnaise squared. His homelessness is yeah. by choice, though. He... Mm -hmm. He is... Super nice by the way he treats his grandma, so we can confer from that that he's a good boy. <laughs> yeah. Although it took some like clearing some misunderstandings to finally clear the air between them. But the important thing is it happened. Also dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I wanna put him right beside AG because uh homelessness no job. Will interrupt you constantly by saying, say no more. Yeah, he's basically Wizard's AG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's also in bad because uh, he's gonna up your food bill by a lot. <laughs> Yeah, Beast is kind of like Indiana Jones, just except instead of hunting for ancient relics, he's hunting for phantoms to feed his phantom so he himself doesn't get eaten. It's kind of complicated. Right. He can cook, just it's going to be all mayonnaise. I don't know if I, my heart can handle that. I mean, it's, it's Japanese mayonnaise. Yeah, you, you did mention it was like sweeter than American mayonnaise. Yeah. And Actually, I think, I think there's there is a photo of uh, a, a gif of Kamen Rider Beast that's like he, he's he's at a so he's at a noodle cart and there's a storm going on and he's trying to put mayonnaise into it. Of course he would. Of course he would. <laughs> oh, there it is. First result. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. VC chat. VC chat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing part is like, well, like only the first squeeze like flew out of the bowl, but everything else made it in just <laughs> fine. Oh, Kosuke. I like you, but you be a bad roommate. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of bad roommates. <laughs> Kumon Kaito. Oh. It's like power, power. Paronda. The, the, the vacuum needs more power. The sink needs more power. <laughs> the fridge needs more power. This hair dryer needs more power. You, you gotta fend them off with a banana. <laughs> don't, don't stop. Uh, yeah, he'd be like, he'd be pretty bad because like, aggressive, confrontational personality, 
also no job. <laughs> yeah, street I mean, dancer. Yes, his job is dancer. And he's but... the leader of his dancing group, but uh, that's about it. Yeah. If he was exotic dancer. Oh, yeah. Maybe. 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 But he's just a dancer. He's, he's a dancer and a very aggressive one, too. Mm hmm. All right, from Kaito to Go, let's hench in. He's a photographer, he's very quick and agile. Uh, yep. And, uh, hmm. You also have to deal with his boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in his defense, his boyfriend is also likable. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. We're in good, though. I don't know where to put him in good. <laughs> <laughs> Baron, the lead star of Magic Mike 2. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, he'd definitely be a good roommate. I mean, what was his job again? I know we, like, studied abroad in the U.S. Uh, I can go look it up. Quickly. Uh, uh I say two drive. CG Mago. CG Mago. Um, occupation freelance photographer. So he, he's just better to Cade, really. <laughs> he, he's like friendlier secondary to Cade. Yeah. Alright, so. Well, That kind of hurts him in, like, the rent department, but he's still in good. <laughs> yeah. Just don't know where in good. Probably... Probably below Cento. Yeah, below Cento, above Ren. Because, because unlike the other... Well... Yeah, yeah, that's actually good. Yeah. Another spirit detective. Makoto... We also gotta listen to him talk about his sister. Yeah, that... <laughs> mm. It's very creepy, too. Mm. Uh... Uh... Makoto... Oh, we also gotta deal with his uh, very controlling boyfriend, too. But said boyfriend is also royalty. Yeah. Royalty to a ghost dimension. So... Absolutely bubkiss here. Let's see. I'm checking... Let's see. This is his job. <laughs> I guess he was like... Wasn't he kind of like... Okay. I thought he was a, I thought he was a spirit detective much to like a talk room. I want to say yes, but also wasn't he kind of like Alon's bodyguard? No, no, he, has, he has no job. He has no job listed. Yeah, I'm trying to think, because I mean, he would help out, but I don't think he, would, he got paid. Yeah, he didn't get paid. Yeah, that doesn't help this case. You're, yeah, you're, you're not getting paid. <laughs> All right, that moves you down further in bad. Uh, hmm. Kind of aggressive. Jumps to conclusions. Yeah, de definitely jumps to conclusions. If his introduction was anything. Alright. Oh, here it is. Uh, very driven individual willing to go almost at any length to protect his sister and re and uh, 
his outwardly he, he outwardly comes off as stubborn, antisocial, and aggressive. His temper getting the better of him when someone speaks about his sister. Yep. Or tries to harm her. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, traumatic experience from being in the ghost world. His dad's a per- his dad's a deadbeat. Oh yeah, that definitely affected him in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> also, he's been adopted. He's been adopted twice. First by Zero Specter, and then by Takaru's dad. Oh, he's just like me for real, for real. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I don't want to be like that for real, for real. <laughs> but yeah, he definitely goes in bad. Alright. Also, he's dead too, just like Takaru. Yeah. But he doesn't get, like, <laughs> the tax write off that Takaru does. <laughs> Yeah, no. Oh, we also gotta deal with his twin brother. Oh, no. Yeah. Just moves him down one bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're, we move on to the X-Aid boys. Uh, Mr. I can cut anything, by, and I'm based off of the RPGs. I don't know what an RPG is. Mr. I'm in a BL with uh, Toma. And AG <laughs> and Ren. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks, Choo Choo. I mean, he, 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 he is a doctor. Mm hmm. He gets paid. He gets paid. Yeah. No, he's yeah. A, his, well, he's a, his, his dad owns the hospital. His dad owns a hospital, but he's also a top surgeon, too. Yes. So that's a lot of money. He will pay rent and never be home. Yeah. It's like, hmm. But we also gotta de- we gotta deal with him talking about his dead girlfriend. And he will have a tendency to just grab us by the collar and slam us into the wall. Yeah, he, I, I he mean, does I do that, that a lot to Emu in <laughs> Xade. Like you could probably make a drinking game out of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he has a private limo. Yes, it's like. We're getting some, like, good goods and some very bad bads. <laughs> I feel a lot of people want to slam Emu against the wall constantly, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Not wrong. I don't think anybody will deny that. All right, well, I mean, uh... Emu's a gamer. He, he kind of gives off that aggro aura that you just want to slam him into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, so in conclusion, Hero's gonna be like, okay. okay. It's okay. Just, 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 leave <laughs> just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Taiga. Now we gotta deal with the, we gotta deal with the illegal doctor. Yeah, this, the back alley doctor who's, whose cousin likes to hang around sometimes. <laughs> and that's how I lost my medical license. <laughs> That's literally how he lost his medical license. (laughs) Oh yeah, he did get legitimized by the end. So that moves that moves him up. (laughs) But that takes a while. But he's more aggressive than the uh He's more aggressive than than Hero. Brave. Yeah. And his annoying cousin likes to hang out a lot. I, I thought that was his, uh... I thought that was, that was his date. <laughs> I mean, she's a kid, so... Uh, Even worse. Yeah. Yeah. Taiga is a groomer? <laughs> not lie? Not clickbait? <laughs> what? The cops were called? <laughs> the cops were called? <laughs> All right, I need I need some confirmation on Nico here. Make make sure we're not getting it wrong. Yeah. Cyber Nico. Or just type in Cyber. All right, let's see. Uh, adult. Okay. 
All right, she's 18, 2016. Okay, occupation gamer, former high school. Oh yeah, she does start working as a part-time medical office worker. Okay, so. All right. Facts have been checked. All right. <laughs> no, so, he looks so young. Yeah, well, I can say this. Welcome to being an Asian where everyone's going to under guess your age by like at least seven years. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm, yeah, okay. Still kind of a bad roommate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, Wait, what? I could have sworn I put Curia in here. Also, what happened to... Okay, Kuroto's here. Thank goodness. We can't forget Mr. God, Shin, Dan, Kuroto, whatever. I've lost track of all his titles. Yeah. Alright. It, it's weird when he disappears and when you do finally find him, he's out in the middle of the woods, bare naked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's yes. Deuce. Yes. Shin, God, Dan, Kuroto, Shin, Deuce. Deus. 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 Uh, yeah. True God. Two. two. <laughs> All right. Where where do we put funny haha -ha bike man with awesome leather jacket and Hawaiian shirt? I mean. He, he gaslights people. Okay. Lots of misdirects. A and he ruined Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, he also ruined Christmas. <laughs> I see that's... <laughs> that seems to be a common theme for... Rider series with this writer. With uh, yeah. Mr. Yuya Takahashi. <laughs> because guess what? Thanks, Geets. <laughs> All right. Hmm. But what? How far and bad does Funny Bike Man go? I want to say above the Blade Boys. Above the Blade Boys. There we go. Oh, speaking of true goddamn Kuroto 2. Da 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 da! I mean, free video games? Free video that games. He, make. he runs the company. Most likely. Well, the thing is, if we do play against him, he's probably going to say a bunch of toxic stuff like <laughs> cheater. Yeah. How was I supposed yeah. to fucking know that? Yeah. Um. Uh, st stop hacking. <laughs> it was a lag. Like next to you. Leg, 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 leg. <laughs> dude, I'm Don't sitting next to you. Leg. <laughs> You're the one that's saying a skill issue to him. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh, like it all. It's like personality-wise, it all de depends on whether you love or hate his like his need to chew the scenery and just be over the top in everything. Also, he, he works himself to death. Literally. Three times, in fact. <laughs> this is a thing that happened, and we will not provide further context. Ah, uh, okay, hmm. <laughs> I know Sora would put him great roommate 10 out of 10. <laughs> Should he get his own tier? No. No. Nah. Uh. I would say like somewhere in bad, maybe even like top of terrible. Like he is the king I, I of, terrible. of terrible. King of terrible. Top of ter yeah, top of terrible. Uh, uh there's Bonjo. Bonjo. But oh, okay. Well, he's an escape convict. 
escaped convict, for, uh, former MMA. Current. So he does have so he does have a job in, in, in MMA. Yeah. So. Uh. His solution to everything: just punch it harder. Hey man, toaster ain't working. Punch it. Okay. <laughs> and some the toaster burnt me. <laughs> but the, at least the toaster's working now. Hey, the toaster came out. Yeah. Hey, burn. What the hell? Ah. <laughs> uh, yes, Banjo has like one brain cell, and most of the time, Sento has it. <laughs> so yeah. But he's, like, he's like the fawns. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Banjo's like the fawns. Hey. <laughs> it's like kind of confrontational at first, but like once you win him over, he will literally die for you. Hey, go do the thing. I'll give you a banana. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you've greatly insulted me, but I accept. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I mean, having someone who will die for you—that—that—that that, that wins you a lot of points. Yeah. And you know, once this criminal charges get cleared up, if they do, but then remember, this is Japan, so the chances of that are, are highly unlikely. Yeah. I mean, he, he could do underground fighting. Oh yeah, he, he, yeah, he could definitely do some underground fighting. Yeah, and that'll definitely pay a lot. Yeah. All right, he, he'd be like top of okay. <laughs> there are a lot of complicated problems, but uh, we get along just fine. <laughs> just keep the fridge stocked with bananas, <laughs> and you're good. With bananas. <laughs> All right. Uh, then it's. Gates? Gaze, yeah. It, yeah. D time traveler, no job. Very aggressive. Came, time travel to kill one specific person. <laughs> yeah, and didn't even know if, if the time travel was like linear or multiverse. Ah, uh, yes, that's that's always the problem, isn't it? <laughs> Which it was. Kind of both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Geo had absolutely no rules for its time for his time travel. He did save them, but then broke went and broke every single one. <laughs> yeah. And it would have been just easier if they went with the same kind of thing that they did for Dragon Ball Z, with, with Future Trunks and Cell, multiverse theory. It would have been this simple with that. But no, let's make it both. Let's try to be original here. It, 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 it tried being both, and, and then it everything got fucky lucky, and then even even the show writers called it called it out. <laughs> with yeah. the whole un, over quartzer movie. It's like <laughs> We're gonna fix the Heisei timeline. It's <laughs> there's so many complicated plot holes and everything's fucked up. We're gonna fix it. Yeah, I, I think it, at one time I actually tried to make my own. I was just so angry of how Gia was being written that I started trying to write it myself. How'd that go, actually? I didn't get too far. Yes, G Gaze came back from, I want to say, 2068 or 2069. Yeah, here it is. I, I, I still have it. The Geo rewrite. <laughs> you still have it? I did not get too far. Yeah, o Omazeo was older and he was voiced by Riki Koyama, who I believe voiced Saijima Taiga in the Yakuza games. And like some other characters, like Duke in Tales of Asperia and. Emiya Kiritsugu in Fate Zero. And I think he did the Japanese dub for Jack Bauer in 24. Because I remember those commercials. Yeah, I, I yeah, only got as far as making the title and subtitle. 
and that was it. Yeah, if you go but, to YouTube was, and type in yeah. like, what was it? Uh, Ore wa Jack Bauer, and you'll hear Omazio like singing this like original song for the Japanese commercial for Twenty Four. And it's actually pretty good. I won't play it on stream because I will probably get copyright struck in. But yeah, to answer your question, Sora, Omazio was older. I mean, if you do the math, 18... Actually, I, ha I have a Gates watch right in front of me. And it says 2068. Yeah, 2068 confirmed. So like, if, if years. yeah, Sogo graduates during the show, that that would make him 18 plus 50. Yeah, that's 68. The zero came out in. Got the watch. I can't find the watch. There's the watch. Yeah, pretty sure. Watch this, 2018. Yeah, Geo is 2018. Hard confirm. There we go. Facts officially checked. Also, time traveler, so no, no money. Very aggressive. Just, just bad. Yeah, it's just bad. <laughs> All right, finally, moving on to Reiwa. Fuwa. Become. Uh, pretty much the same thing, but. Special, special forces and police. Yeah, special forces. So he gets paid. Uh, you'll never have problems opening up jars ever again with this guy around. Or having a jar. Yeah, it's like good news. That jar is unstuck. Bad news. What jar? <laughs> uh. Starts off initially angry. We find out later he's actually like a fan of like Aruto's jokes, but he tries so goddamn hard to hide it. Yeah. It's almost kind of adorable. Apparently, his, his entire family's like it. All right, that's a that's a big plus. He knows how to take a joke, but he doesn't know how to deal with a joke. <laughs> yeah... I'm trying to remember what else Fuwa had going for him. Uh, I mean, he transforms by punching the bullet. That's fucking awesome. And also breaking. Just Yeah, just breaking his, everything. His thing. So, uh... Yeah. I suppose we put him like right beside Hikawa like that. <laughs> they have like the exact same problem. <laughs> They're just gonna break everything in your house. Unintentionally usually. Well actually Hikawa's unintentionally. Fool is like just brute force gorilla strength. <laughs> there. This jar is unstuck. Then again, what jar? <laughs> the jar no longer exists. Hmm. Sh should we put in... I'm gonna put in Waz and Tsukiyomi. Odin has a point. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my mouse? There it is. There's my mouse, okay. Waz. Then again, like we said with the... Uh, I think we went over Waz when we were talking about Sogo. Uh, EY constantly... Mm -hmm. Wagamao just took a, the giant of shit. Yep. Uh, standby music at 2 a.m. daily. Well, that would be insufferable. And uh, Tsukuyomi... I feel like Tsukuyomi would be, like, at least helpful. 
But again, she's also time traveler with no job. Yep, from roughly the same era too. Don't want to go too far in the geo. Suku Yomi. Oh right, Waz is also in Devor, so. Oh God. Yeah, I'm bringing that up. You didn't have to. You really didn't have to. Hey, you told me to bring up bad things about them. Yes. Wait, did Sukuyomi have a tablet just makes money? That seems like a big cheat. Oh yeah, she did. I mean, just on that alone. <laughs> Bumps her up like significantly higher. I mean, she does come from a time where money isn't really necessary. Yeah. Guns and bullets are more useful, and food. Oh, yeah, let's see. Th they did show it when they went back to feudal Japan. Oh, yeah, during the whole. The, o the whole lineage of. Mr. Belt was explained through that part. Yeah, yeah. Nobunaga hooked up with a Dutch girl, and that—that that was Mr. Belt's bloodline. I wish I was joking. I mean, I could look up right now. Uh, Krim Steinbelt. <laughs> Uh, I feel like his lit background. Yes, background. Uh, proto drive, drive driver, in spirit. Hmm. Was it uh, over quartzer? Should we look up just Nobunaga? <laughs> for, for what? For who? I'm trying to like confirm uh, Krim Steinbelt's lineage because I do remember that. Being oh, yeah, it was, it was Nobunaga. Yeah, Nobunaga and some random Dutch woman. Yep. <laughs> Man, Common Rider is wild. And to think, this all started as an offshoot of like, Tsukiyomi's tablet makes unlimited money. And they sh showed it off when they went back to feudal Japan. And just I just went off on a complete tangent there. But yeah, back on topic, Tsukiyomi, great roommate, just because she has tablet that makes unlimited money. Yep. And now Riwa. Yeah, back or, to uh, back to Reiwa. We got we got yeah. seriously sidetracked. Uh, Rintaro. Uh, I don't know if they pay the swordsman the of people logos. Of sword. Yeah, the swordsman of logos. logos. I would think so, but yeah. they're also kind of in a world where money doesn't really is necessary. Yeah, everything they need, all their basic necessities are provided for. Yeah. And. <laughs> Rintaro is like very clueless of modern society mm -hmm. and like how to properly act in modern society so like no money no like no social mannerism or very little social manner he's a very polite boy but yeah he's he's, 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 he's like the rich kid who's like Shows up to like downtown. One friend. <laughs> yeah, his poor friends for the first time. Uh, I mean, his opening there's... scene was like, oh, it's like, oh, I read that in Japan. Like, it's it's rude to come inside a person's home with your shoes so on. That's why I'm riding like my mechanical lion. Ow! 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 Hey. Welcome, Jack Delane. Welcome Raiders, I'm Thunderbird Prime, Master of VTuber. I'm currently joined by Frozen Traveler and we are doing a Common Rider tier list 
and ranking them based on how good of a roommate they, they'd be. You're not my dad! <laughs> I didn't want to be your dad, Jack! I just want you as my brother, okay? Alright, uh, according to his personality, uh, appears to be serious and difficult to approach at a first glance, but on the contrary, he's actually quite down to earth and willing to, to teach anybody who wants to be doing sword stuff. So, yeah, okay, he's, he'd be uh, like, hmm. Completely flabbergasted when he sees uh, Toma's unorthodox uh, me uh, fighting methods. Um, but due to his upbringing, has little to no practical experience in everyday culture in general. Mm -hmm. Despite being extremely knowledgeable about it through books. So, yeah. Very book smart. Zero street smart. Yeah. Yeah, he'd definitely be... <sighs> He's the, he's the roommate that gets suckered into volcano insurance. <laughs> he, he'd, he'd fall for a pyramid scheme. Yeah. He's the one, he's the one that, that sold, that uh, bought an, an, an NFT. He, he sent all our life savings to that Nigerian prince. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. <laughs> oh no, not that one. Oh, not that one. Okay. So, t -t 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 next up, Daiji. And I guess, to an extent, Kagero too. Oh, no, we gotta deal with Kagero too. Yeah. Oh no. We gotta deal with another split personality person. Yeah. This is gonna be fun, and by fun I mean not so fun. Uh, well, he is a part of Phoenix. So yeah, he gets paid very well. Uh, he's a marksman. Oh. Um, he has a very conflicting moral compass. I feel like that moral compass has been placed beside a magnet and now it's just spinning like crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to put him in the bed. Yeah, the, the magnet was put there by Akashi. Yeah. Yeah, he's bad, but how bad is he? he, he he's like a worse version than his brother. Yeah, he gets all the benefits of his brother, but like... Much worse. A lot more downsides. Yeah, a lot more downsides. B bigger downsides. Significantly bigger downsides. I'm just trying to figure out where in the bad tier he goes. I want to put him below the Blade Boys. Below the Blade Boys, yes. But just... Ab above Axel, below uh... Hajime. Hajime. Yeah. yeah. I would have put him in okay if it wasn't for all those problems. Yeah. And now we gotta deal with demons. <laughs> I, I I'd lay okay. down my life if it means paying the rent. I I would just put him in okay. Yeah. Because there's nothing really too good or too bad about him. He's just kind of like. He he'll, yeah he's gonna pay the rent. He is part of Phoenix. But other than that, he doesn't really have anything going for him. I mean, not long term at least. At... Yeah. At the start, yes. But uh, after time's up, not so much. He's just kind of like the wise older brother. Yeah. So be very middle of the road. He'd be okay. Uh, wait, I just realized there there is no Kawa. Kawa, get in here. I have, I have, I have Michinaga and I have Neon, but I do not have Kawa. It's like I added all three of them because like there could be an argument to be made for each of them, as in who's the secondary. At this point, I'm confused at who's the secondary. I want to say it's uh, Tycoon. 
Yeah, that's that's precisely why I panicked and added Tycoon. T Tycoon is definitely the secondary. Yes, I'm leaning towards Tycoon because the whole Kitsune Tanuki motif. Yeah. Also, green is a very secondary color. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, thanks for the follow, Kato. All right, so personality, very a very good boy, in contrast to the sneaky ace. Yeah. Manages to get a job. He struggled at he, first. Yeah. yeah, struggled at first. Had a very lame interview. Uh, let's see. Does keep his secrets, but that's kind of part of the rules of the game. So that can't be held against him. Uh, gets along with his sister. Uh, the good Samaritan that works both ways. It works both for him and against him. As Geats has proven. That makes him a very uh, gullible person. Yeah, that seems like a enough spot. Yeah, Tycoon is... It's really hard to pin Tycoon down, like... He has... I mean, we, we've only, we're only working off of, like, what, 13 episodes? Yeah, 13 episodes. Alright, uh... Michinaga! M Mr... Yes. Mr. Zombie! He's the one that's going to kick your, kick, get your ass in gear to get to pay the rest of the rent. Yes. So he's okay. He works construction. That pays well. Oh yeah, that plays amazingly well. Although his personality, he's very aggressive. Very, very, very abrasive. Very abrasive. Very one-track minded. But on the upside, he he will never laugh at your dreams. As shown when he was paired up with goth girl and old man, and they told him their wishes. He didn't laugh at them. He didn't say they were stupid. He's like, all right, you want your wishes? Fight for it. Yeah. And that was like, in my mind, like, a sign that like k -Well was rubbing off on him. All right, and lastly, Neon. She's rich. Uh, she's rich, but is trying to get disconnected from it. Yes. Has a stream. Uh, is a streamer. Mm-hmm. So very relatable. <laughs> she, she's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much to go off for Neon. We've, we're only 14 episodes in. She's just like the main girl. Yeah. So far, it's just like, hey, we needed a, we needed a uh, secondary female and rival. Hopefully not all, right. all in the same character. They're like, all right, yeah, all split, the split them up. They need to be different characters. Split yeah. them up. It's like, hmm. Because first off, it would be kind of weird to have your rival be a girl. I mean, I I won't I wouldn't mind it personally. But I'm saying like from a toy marketing thing, no boy wants to have a girl as their rival. Yeah. Yeah, the kids would never want that. We, we adults were like. Sure, why not? Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's hard to rank like the Geats people because like, like, like we said, only 14 episodes in. F uh, 15 by the Saturday. Wait, are they going to have it this weekend? I thought they're going to have their Christmas break. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I yeah. think so. Darn. <laughs> Which is why yeah. I mentioned, like, Common Rider Ruined Christmas, again. Yeah. 
It's one of the reasons why old female figures from Ninja Turtles slash Power Rangers slash etc. are more expensive because the boys didn't want them. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, that would definitely drive the the aftermarket price. You're right, Sora. But uh, anyways, that brings us to the end of our tier tier list of common riders as roommates. This actually took us a lot shorter time than it did for the uh, uh, Super Sentai roll call. And that took about four hours. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this only took us uh, two hours and 40 minutes. Okay, well, actually, two and a half. I started stream a little late, but yeah, yeah. Ro yeah, our opinions are correct. We will we will not take any criticisms on this. We are done. <laughs> Save. Uh, download image. Hey, there we go. Well, we were going by we were going by the entire team, not just the one person. It's like. How how well does the the posing in the team flow into each other? How's the song? How's the special special and practical effect? How's the device that transforms them? Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, uh, what was it? Go Goggle Five? I don't know. I don't know. There was like a there was a synth team that had gender specific transformation devices. Yeah, like the bo the boys got like pens and the girls got compact discs. Oh, uh, well, that's gonna be interesting to get into once once we finish these rider watch alongs and jump into Super Sentai. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll jump into Sentai after we finish Decade because. After Decade, I've watched everything, so we won't do, be doing the watch-alongs on that, unless we got like some sort of special request. But the plan is to move right. to Sentai after Decade. All right, before we close out the stream, uh, Frozen, is there anyone you want to raid tonight? Uh, well, uh, Choo Choo is doing the Phoenix Wright thing. That's right, Choo Choo is doing the Phoenix Wright thing. We can raid Choo Choo right now. All right. Yeah. Choo choo. I spec cancer. Choo choo. Where are you? Oh no. She she did. Uh, they they just finished the uh, uh the Fe the Phoenix Wright game and now they're going on to the BL dramas of the of the 20, 2022. You know what? <laughs> it's fine. Still do it. Still do, Still it. do it. Start the raid. Start Still the raid. It. There's the raid message. <laughs> And remember to stay prime. 